So little by little, I've been doing stuff here to my 2024 Toyota Tacoma right here to make this thing feel a little bit more like I spent nearly $50,000 on a mid-sized truck. So far, I've done the replacement of the front bumper there with a nice metal piece there to replace that plastic. Did the recovery points here, the Westcott designs, lift, the roof rack, the rock sliders, and bed stiffeners here from Westcott as well. Everything is amazing quality. It makes the truck feel a lot more stout. But that there is the only thing I've done so far to the bed. And now it's time to step up the tie down game. The tie downs here on the rear, up front. These here, I think, are designed to swivel up and down, right? But they don't really do that too well. And then you have these plastic baby Yodas right here, um, which I wouldn't really trust with anything. Uh, super important there and back again with another charvoni designs upgrade on the tie downs this time went with the silver do check these things out so if you guys remember uh last time i upgraded my tie downs in my bed was on the tundra and i went red anodized and this time i went with the silver ones so check these out right here are replacing these plastic tie downs here on the rails and oh wow Oh my. For those who are not really DIYers, this here is the easiest thing to possibly do. It's gonna take us five minutes to do all of the tie downs. It's a very, very fast mod. So fear not doing this on your own. I promise you the hardest part of doing this mod is simply getting into the bed of your truck. There's a couple ways we can do this, okay? But first, or if y'all got hops, maybe stomach first. Don't try that, don't do that, nope. In actuality though, my favorite way to get in the bed is by putting one foot here on the slider, one foot there on the tire, and then just hopping right in. That's the easiest way to do it. But even having uh, no slider, it's way easier just using the tire and hopping right in. So that's probably the best way to do it. But now that step number one is done and getting into the bed is, uh, is complete, now it's time to remove these tie downs right here. Also shout out to this uh, parking lot that I've been going to a lot for filming because it's been so freaking nice outside and being in the garage is uh, not, not as fun. So anyways, pull that tip out right there and then spin these guys left to loosen them. And once it's nice and loose, go ahead and push it down and slide it right out. Now these Charvoni designs, Where'd it go, where'd it go? Tie downs right here. I mean, honestly, these things are so freaking over-engineered. I'm almost certain that the bed will shatter first before this ever gives. So TRD Johnny recently installed these in the back of his Tacoma as well, and he said it best. Do you always need something, you know, of this caliber? Not always. We don't always need that level of, you know, performance and stuff like that. If you don't, then, you know, go the cheaper route. If you don't use your truck that way, then save the money. But at the same time, doing things above and beyond is always kind of fun to do things that replace stuff like this, which looks really cheap with things that look like a million bucks is always just kind of fun. So let's go. All right, so as you guys can see, they bed lined over the screw. Go. Tie down is out. So the tie down right by the tailgate is also a T30. Add that to the tie down graveyard. Kind of nostalgic actually, because back in the day before I had a garage to work in, I'd either uh, borrow friends' shops or I would um, like go to uh, businesses that were closed on the weekends and use their parking lot for installs. And half the time too, I'd, I'd get kicked out and have to go find another one and try to like transition the, the clips together like seamlessly. So it was always a challenge, but now I have a garage. But uh, yeah, this install is easy enough to do in a parking lot. So we're here. So here's our tie down. And then here's the hardware it came with uh, for each tie down. You can either face it with the uh, engravement not showing here on this side or show the engravement on this side. It shows uh, what to torque it down to, which is 20 foot pounds. And um, then it has the Charboni Designs uh, logo right there. So I'm gonna show mine off and have it facing this way so we can see it. I'm gonna feed the hardware through first. No washers, nothing at all like that. It just comes with the straight hardware. Line it up with the holes. I'm gonna hand tie it for now and then get it home. I left my torque wrench at home and then I'll torque it down to the 20 foot pounds. Now let's move on to the billet rail tie downs. Those are some big boys right there, dudes. The ones I showed you before, um, actually go in the bed. These are the actual uh, rail tie downs. Side by side comparison for you guys. So hardware, mounting plate, and the tie down itself. There's a little notch here in the middle of the mounting plate. I'm gonna face that towards the tie down. 
and then throw the hardware in from the top side of the tie down. Barely tighten this thing on, right about there should be good. So that way there's a gap in between the mounting plate and the actual uh, tie down. Slide it in. What you guys are gonna see is it kind of locks into, there's grooves in here, right? You got a groove there and they're pretty, they're pretty often. There's one here, one here, all down the rail. So you can kind of choose where you want to lock it into. So the groove right there, it locks it right into place. So now that I have it in the groove where I want it, I'm gonna tighten it down and torque it to spec. And it's pretty much all there is gonna be to that right there. Okay. I know you guys wanna roast me really bad for using a Pittsburgh uh, tool here, but all I have right now for this style of bit. So I'm gonna grab another one later today at Home Depot, but in the meantime, I have this very loose tool from uh, Harbor Freight. So go ahead and comment down below all you want. I'm here for it. Last thing to install here are the D-rings right on here. So we're using the factory hardware from the truck. Oh boy. Okay, so slight issue I ran into just now, and that's that I have the bed stiffeners on here, and I can't install the D-rings with the bed stiffeners because it's creating too much height for the threads on the hardware to catch in the bed. So that being said, I have to get home now and remove the bed stiffener, and then we can go ahead and complete the install here of the D-rings. So let's get home and remove the bed stiffeners. guys it is the next day and everything is all good to go in the bed here check out these d-rings they swivel real nice too lock them down into place cruise over here and check out the bed rail this thing is looking looking right and then down there in the bed dude these things look so freaking good in the silver finish come in a few different colors you can get the blue you can get red anodize uh, a red texture black anodize black texture um, and then the silver ones here, which I think look freaking sick. I think the silver just looks like straight jewelry. That's gotta be their, their like most in-demand one for sure. It looks so freaking sleek. But let's pull up to the garage here and throw something in here and try them out. So here's what I came up with. Threw in the old muffler from the Tundra. Thing is an absolute unit, <laughs> straight suitcase. And then my ladder as well. Bought the new straps here from Roller Cam and then let's drop the stuff down and then let's go for a ride. Definitely, definitely not the ultimate test to show what these things can truly handle. I saw somewhere on the internet, I'm pretty sure it was John's video, 
showing a Tacoma getting lifted off the ground using a Charvonia Designs tie down, which is pretty insane. So it's always awesome supporting some good USA based companies as well. So just aesthetic standpoint, they look so much freaking better. And of course the D hooks back there also function a lot better than the OEM ones, which didn't really want to move. But also too, how these things are designed. So you have this opening here, you can run a hook through those, which I did down here. Um, or you can run it through uh, the larger opening here, OEM ones. They're, they're very, very, very narrow. And the problem with that is when you run your rope through it, your strap, your hook, whatever, it puts a lot more of the force in one very small area, which will end up, you know, breaking down whatever it is running through it a lot faster than dispersing all that, uh, all that tension through a wider part. And then behind it, you guys can see how they rounded off the edge there on the backside. It's not going to slice through whatever it is running through there. Gosh dang, dude, these things look so freaking good. And back here, man, huge upgrade on the D-hooks compared to what they came, the truck came with. That's so much better and they swivel real nice as well. Not the best tie down job, but you know, it's, uh, it's all good. <laughs> not a serious load, not the ultimate test of what these things could uh could endure that's pretty much it that there is a wrap so hopefully you guys enjoyed that's all i have for you guys for today though i'll see you guys on the next one very soon Until next time peace